Hi everyone, Vaina here, and today I have a highly requested video, and that is how to decorate when you have wall-to-wall -wall carpeting. So I don't know about you, but when I'm looking for a new home, the first priority that I have is to look for a place with hardwood floors. I just feel like it just makes your furniture look a lot better. It's much easier to decorate with hardwood floors, but I've definitely lived in at least two places over the years that had wall-to-wall -wall carpeting, had to rent them for whatever reason. If you're in the position where maybe you own your home and you have to install wall-to-wall -wall carpeting, I'd love you to consider installing sizal rugs. Sizal rugs and jute rugs, it does come in a broad loom wall to wall carpeting option. And I just feel like it's so chic and timeless. I feel like it's very complimentary to many design styles, especially new traditionalist. It's very classy. I've seen it used on stairways, which I feel like is really effective in hallways and also rooms. So there's definitely some options out there. Let's go through my style tips on how to make it work though. You cannot change a wall to wall carpeting. So the first and most obvious option is to consider layering an accent rug over your wall-to-wall -wall carpeting. You always wanna choose a rug or any furniture that you just really love, number one. You should never choose something because it goes with something that you don't like, if that makes sense. Once you kind of have a rug in mind, you do want to consider uh, making sure that the color of the accent rug is complementary to the tone in the carpet. Because your wall-to-wall -wall carpeting is a big design element in the room. And usually it's kind of like a plush texture, no pattern, and it's that kind of like beigey color. You just wanna make sure that your accent rug is complementary to that. And I found that one way to get around that is to consider decorating your entire room in neutral colors. Only choose this option if you actually do like neutrals. I am definitely a big fan. And if you, let's say, decorated your living room in whites and creams and taupes and beiges and silver, in fact, kind of like neutral palette, that you're creating an entire environment that really goes together. So your wall-to-wall -wall carpeting is not gonna stand out you know, from that. It's going to be part of it, it's gonna feel organic, and it's gonna look good. You also want to consider getting the size right of the rug. That's one of the most common mistakes that I see people making with decorating is they choose a rug that's too small for their space. In general terms in a living room, an eight by 10 rug really is about the size where you wanna start. Anytime you're gonna buy a rug, just measure it with a tape measure and then put like, you know, painter's tape on each corner to get a sense of the size of that rug. Rugs are more effective when ma the majority of the furniture is sitting on that rug. It'll make the space actually feel better. It'll simplify everything. Now, if you're like me and you love like vintage rugs and Moroccan rugs, Kaleem's, uh, you know, Persian rugs, hand knotted, they don't always come in those standardized sizes, which is totally fine. Rules are always meant to be broken if you understand the concept. And you just want to make sure that the rug is, is in proportion to, you know, the general seating arrangement. This example here shows you that it's definitely smaller than an 8x10 rug, but because at least most of the furniture is sitting more or less on top of that rug, it still definitely works. The next thing is you wanna think about adding some contrast. So you don't wanna choose an accent rug that is too similar to your wall-to-wall -wall carpeting. So that means you don't wanna choose something solid. It's kinda of gonna be ineffective. A pattern is definitely gonna look better. And you don't wanna choose something that's too close to the same texture. So choosing something that maybe is braided or like a Colleen that's hand knotted um, or something that just has a pattern that's different from what's going on will help it stand out a little bit more. And that's what we want in design. You also wanna consider actually using a rug pad. The last thing you wanna do is choose a rug that is too thin and then it's gonna like kind of fold up every time you're walking on it or creating a tripping hazard. So a rug pad can actually help make that rug feel more substantial. Um, you also kinda of don't wanna do something too plush. Plush on plush might be a little bit of an overkill, especially in the living room. Somewhere in the middle that's hardy and easy to use, you're not gonna think about it uh, and it's gonna be functional for you. And then if you don't wanna layer a rug on top of the carpet or you are a person that loves a lot of bright jewel tone colors, you could actually just consider distracting from it altogether. And I found that the most effective way to do this is to bring the eye up by using strong bold colors or a very strong focal point in the room. And so when you walk in the room, you're not really looking at the ground, your eye is immediately being drawn towards that strong focal point. So you can either use like, you know, textiles, accent pillows, you could bring a lot of color in the window treatments. It could be art on the wall, anything to kind of uh, chandeliers, anything that's going to bring your eye up and kind of just 
minimize the appearance of that wall-to-wall -wall carpeting. So I hope this was helpful. I feel like in interior decorating, I don't care if you live in a studio apartment or a mansion, every single home is always gonna have its set of challenges. And decorating is really about like solving problems beautifully. So even if you're not in your forever home, there's always things that you can do to make it look better. And I feel like wall-to-wall -wall carpeting is something that you can definitely work with if you have to. But if you are moving, guys, and you have the option of getting the hardwood floors, I would still recommend that. So thank you guys so much for watching. Definitely subscribe for more decorating videos and send this video to your friends. Anyone you know that might be struggling with wall-to-wall -wall carpeting, there is hope for you. Um, and uh, I really appreciate you guys, your support on my channel. Also, if you haven't already checked this out, I do have a style quiz to help you figure out your decorating style. And I feel like that's one of the first steps that you really need to understand when you're figuring out, you know, how to kind of redesign your home. It's at mystylequiz.com. It's totally free. And I think you guys are going to love it. Thanks so much for watching. Let me know in the comments below what your thoughts are on wall to wall carpet. Do you love it? Do you hate it? And which one of these tips would make sense for you? Talk to you later. Bye.